My name is Rudy Resta, and I worked at the New York Times from 1958 until 1999 at the old headquarters at 229 West 43rd Street. In 1968 or 69, I made the mistake of leaving my wallet in my jacket pocket and leaving the jacket in a hallway closet. When I grabbed it to go out to lunch, the wallet was gone. And I said to myself, I'll never see that again. In October of 2010, I got a phone call. A security guard at 229 West 43rd Street poked into a cavity in a wall. And there it was, 40 years later. They closed up that room with a sheetrock wall. And uh, when the building was abandoned, they took down that sheetrock wall, and there were windows there. And behind the window, there was a, a cavity and cinder blocks. So whoever took the wallet, threw it there, took the money, and left everything there. And that's how they found out who I was, because I had my ID card, American Express card, photographs, and things like that. Well, I looked at it, I saw my children's pictures, a picture of my wife. I remember taking it because we were going, I think it was Easter, and she was all dolled up, and I took a photograph of her. And I also had a picture of my father who had passed away. But I also had the American Express card, and it was so old that it was in purple. It wasn't the green card. I was just flabbergasted when I saw it. I couldn't get over it. Forty years. And it was intact. Everything was fine. And I started to cry a little bit when I was looking at the pictures. And when I went over to the security guard, I said, uh, I gave him a kiss. And he says, thank you so much. I says, uh, you brought me back.